what it means to be human according to AI. Being human according to AI involves understanding and learning from the environment, making decisions based on data, and using artificial intelligence to act in a way that is both beneficial and ethical. AI can help us better understand the complexities of being human and guide us in making better decisions on how to interact with the world around us. AI can also help us recognize patterns, identify potential problems, and offer solutions to those problems that are based on evidence and data. AI can help us to think more critically and flexibly and better understand how our decisions can affect the world around us. What does it mean to be human in 2023? To be human in 2023 likely means to be more interconnected than ever before, both to each other and to technology. It may mean a greater reliance on technology for everyday activities, as well as a greater appreciation of the environment and sustainability. It also likely means a greater understanding and acceptance of diversity, as well as a commitment to working towards a more equitable future. Finally, it may mean a greater acceptance of the need to care for the mental and physical health of ourselves and others. How does technology affect the definition of what it means to be human? Technology has changed the definition of what it means to be human by allowing us to be more connected and informed than ever before. We are now able to access information quickly and easily, enabling us to do things that would have been impossible in the past. Technology has also allowed us to extend the scope of our physical abilities, giving us greater control over our environment and creating entirely new ways for us to interact with the world. Technology has even allowed us to create artificial intelligence that can replicate human behavior and thought processes. In many ways, technology has allowed us to become more than just human. What would life look like without humans? Without humans, the planet would likely be much healthier. Nature and wildlife would thrive, as human activities such as farming, logging, and development would cease. Pollution would reduce and the air and water would be much cleaner. The planet's climate would likely return to a more natural balance and global temperatures would be lower. Animal populations would increase and many species that have become extinct due to human interference would likely return. The landscape would be much different as human-made structures such as roads, cities, and buildings would slowly be reclaimed by nature. Are smartphones affecting the way we live as humans? Yes. Smartphones are having an effect on the way we live as humans. People are increasingly using their phones to access the internet, connect with people, and access different services. Smartphones have made it easier to stay connected and access information more quickly than ever before. They are also having an impact on how people interact with each other and spend their time. Do smartphones impact humans negatively? Yes, smartphones can have negative impacts on humans, Smartphones can be distracting and can lead to an increase in screen time, resulting in less physical activity and sleep deprivation. They can also lead to problems with relationships and mental health issues such as depression and anxiety. Additionally, smartphone usage can lead to addiction and unhealthy behavior, such as cyberbullying and the spread of false information. Do humans rely on technology too much? Yes, some people may rely on technology too much. Technology can be useful for tasks such as communicating with people, managing finances and staying connected, but it can also lead to distraction, social isolation, and problems with concentration and productivity. How is technology improving the lives of humans? Technology is improving the lives of humans in many ways. It is making communication easier and faster, helping to make the world more connected. Technology is also helping to improve healthcare and medical treatments, making it easier for people to access the care they need. Technology is also helping to make everyday tasks simpler and more efficient, from automating tasks to helping us stay organized. Finally, technology is helping to create new opportunities for people to learn, create, and build new things. What would happen if all computer technology stopped working? If all computer technology stopped working, it would have a drastic effect on our lives. Most of our day-to-day -day activities rely on computers, from banking to communication. Without computers, many businesses would not be able to operate and people would be out of work. Our transportation systems and basic infrastructure would also be affected. 
making it difficult to travel and access essential services. The world would be thrown into chaos as people tried to adjust to life without computers.